What's going on, buddy? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last one, we uh, explored Bilbin to all its extents. We talked to Lord McCoy, we tried to get ourselves a job to break a curse, we were rejected, and I didn't mean to talk to you, stupid idiot. And this time, we're actually gonna head east and see if perhaps we can uh, get through this barricade we've heard so many things about. First, we're gonna sleep at the inn, though. Could've probably done this off screen. Oops, didn't even think I might have to do it. Um. So, actually, there is a bit of an interesting thing you could do here. As the plot pretty much tells you to go east, you don't actually have to listen. Sorry about that cut, I had to fix something. Um, yeah, if you actually want to, you can head north, and it will bring you to the lighthouse they're talking about. Um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna head east because the game does pretty much want you to go east, plus everything is much stronger up north, so it'd make... We eventually have to go both ways, so if we were to go north first and then go east and make the eastern section of the game much more easier. The thing is, if you go north first and then you go east, a different cutscene shows, a slightly is very different, there's just a few lines of dialogue that get added. Um, I am going to show that once it becomes irrelevant. Uh, the, only thing, the only thing that's going to kind of suck is the fact that I won't be able to show up for a little bit still, even after we come up to that section where there is that dialogue. Uh, but that being said, I will definitely show it once the time comes to do that. Uh, that's not used for it. Typically, using like stat boosting stuff like that is great for, um... Uh, here's Gus, by the way! <laughs> Did for damage. So, that double attack there means it's dealing double the damage. If it only done one, like the flint just did, it would have only done normal damage. So there we go. Uh, I'm gonna use Earthquake. So, this is actually a different section of the world map. We will see different enemies here than we were seeing uh, earlier. The ghost, for example, that we were not seeing that in the section of the, of the world map. So, I'll quickly go over what we can see here that's new. So first of all, there's bats, there's ghosts, there's zombies, there's skeleton skeletons. These are all things we've seen before. And I believe there's two new enemies we can see here. So we'll be able to say, hey, we got an herb about that. Nice. Um, that, that barricade, I presume? Little Bilbin Barricade, what does this read? So he's off limits to all those without a permit. Lord McCoy! The door is tightly locked. And, uh, yeah, there's actually not a whole lot. You can see this very faint ant march line on the ground. So, I believe this actually stumped me for a bit as a kid. I haven't actually talked about this yet. When I got this game, that box looks like it should fall at any second. Um, I had a neighbor who was two years older than me, and, um, he had this game. And he would have to help me a lot, and I'm pretty sure he got very annoyed at how much he had to help me. Just need to walk on the bank here. Kind of a little bit weird looking. <laughs> oh god, what's going on here? But yeah, I don't know, I just I just thought I remember that. I remember that getting around the guard to get into Mount Ayla for the first time, it already helped me figure that out, because I never did. I couldn't figure that out, it was the first time I was like, they're so heavy. So, as you can see here, there's three trees stacked on top of each other. Bad, horrible time. Oh wow, I didn't actually know you could jump on these. Cool. I mean, it doesn't really do anything, but still cool. <gasps> what? Oh my god, I've never been here before! That's really neat, I've never noticed it. Alright, well, let's continue heading east. Stupid barricade. Stupid monkey! Uh, let's see if we can run into more new enemies here. So, see that's probably Klima Forest over there. However, if you head east first, so there's another section here. Rat appeared! Awesome! This is actually what I want to see. Oh, another thing I should be doing with... Uh, in here. He has new Merc Wands. So... What, I haven't explained that yet. Every single artifact there is in this game... There we go! I want to showcase this. So use Merc. And Merc actually has a chance to uh, cause the sleep effects. It didn't there, which is kind of unfortunate. Sleep lasts a few turns. Uh-oh. I actually have to pause it here for a second. Because I gotta change something. Alright, we're back! Sorry about that, that was really weird. Um, I had to change something because if I don't, it doesn't appear correctly. Um, it, it, so, yeah. It's so quiet. Oh, sparkles on the ground, so pretty. I'm so pretty! What is the matter, Ivan? This tree was a person. I don't know why he's actually so shocked, but I already met one. Everyone Klima has been turned into a tree. Why? Do you know why this happened? Yes, we pretty much learned already. I see, it was because they hurt the holy tree. 
Oh, I really hope this works. I'm a little worried this might not work properly. What is it now, Ivan? That sparkly stuff on the ground. What is it? Looks like rainwater, you know, after it rains in the early morning. Oh god! Ugh! What's happening? My mind! Someone is attacking Titan Mamba! And insta kill. Yep. So, um, oops. Don't walk into this village. Just kidding. It's snowing. What is that? Something's falling from the sky. It's sparkling. Could this be what turned those people into? I've got to get out of here. I, I can't. I can't move. There we go. It is appearing correctly. Although on my recording software, it doesn't look like it's a appearing. Oh god, I don't know if it's appearing. Okay, so essentially these orbs are supposed to be blinking really fast, which appears to be looking... <laughs> it happens occasionally in my recording software. I don't know how to, uh... I thought I fixed it, but I guess not. I fixed it on my end. I don't know, you guys might have seen something weird though. Isaac, what just happened to us? That bear, did it save us? I, th I think so. I think so too, Isaac. I think I know what, caught what those domes were. It was our synergy. What are you, crazy? I didn't use any synergy. Hey, I can stand, I can move again. Ivan, it's okay, go ahead, stand up. Yay! Those barriers. I thought that synergy was only used when we concentrate, right? When I was training, I'd focus so hard, I thought my head would burst. Probably didn't take a whole lot for Garrett, now did it. <laughs> well, maybe it's just easier for you, but when I use synergy... Anyway, I'm certain that was synergy we were projecting. That must mean that some synergy acts only when it's needed. You mean like when we're in danger? I think it's like when we strike critical hits in battle. You can't control it, but it's there when you need it. <laughs> it's just that they bring up crits. I can agree with what I Garrett is saying. It is definitely possible. Would it be something if we could use this power at any time, Isaac? It sure would. Yeah, let's start trying to master this power. <laughs> it just as of right on cue. Here comes the snowflakes. Watch out! It's happening again. And this time without even thinking about it. Without even thinking about it. <laughs> Looks very derpy on the recording software. I think I'm recording, I think at 30 frames. Yeah, I am recording at 30 frames. <laughs> Why? Why didn't I turn into trees? Who are they? What people are these who are immune to Tret's glamour? Have they come to save that village with their strange powers? It will not be enough to save the people of Kalima. They have earned their fate. Kalima took their axes to me, and now shall take mine to them. You children may not know this, but we are dying. The Kalima forest will wither and die when we are gone. We are not the only ones who will die, Laurel. Once we are gone, they too will go. Tret was once a kindly forest king. He is slowly dying, and his heart has torn in two. His wrathful side turned the people of Kalima into trees. The kind Tret speaks no more. Hmm. The kindly heart invites destruction. I need no kindness. If you wish to save those who turn, those who turn Tret turned into trees, you must reawaken his gentle side. But. If you cannot stop Tret from withering, we all will. Look for Tret deep within the forest. It is no use, Laurel. Humans cannot be trusted. I shall die, and the rest of the forest will die with me. And that has been Cringy Voice Acting 101. Isaac, isn't there anything we could do? Of course there is. What can we do? Do you have any idea? Not a bloody clue. He's as stumped as we are, but he says he'll help. 
I trust Isaac. He'll come up with an idea. I mean, spoiler alert, I know the solution, but... <laughs> so, this town made completely out of trees. Cut down trees and all that, such as... Oh, there's rings. How many rings are? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's only a six-year-old tree, man. That is insane. Um, Top left of bomb left house. Okay. That's, that's a jar. So we're going to quickly grab all the loot now. Oh, I think it's this one, actually. And then we'll uh, talk to all these villagers. I just got an herb or what's left of the villagers. Top left jar, top right screen. Got it, right up here. So this town really isn't too big. I would barely even call count. I just got an apple to Garrett. That's the first time you see one of those. That's yeah, Garrett, because our Isaac's inventory is full. Boost attack. It's a permanent increase. Um, I, Ivan isn't that good at attacking, to be honest. So I think what we're going to do... So boost. Isaac, attack! <laughs> He's now tied with Garrett's for best attack. Um, the rest of the stuff is inside. So here, let's start mind reading. Since everyone is just a tree, it'll take just as long to talk to them. We're going to mind read everyone. If I could speak, I'd tell them this is Kalima, village of lumberjacks. He sounds so proud, but yet he's now a tree. <laughs> How could anyone turn a girl's beautiful me as a tree? Actually, I'm pretty cute, pretty cute for a tree. <laughs> of course you are. This is a dream. This has to be a dream. I'm old. I've lived a full life. I don't even mind being a tree. That's so bad for all those kids who turn into trees. Yeah, that has gone to suck. Not to be to suck. Being unable to move is so inconvenient. <laughs> that sounds like a teenage boy or a teenager in general, to be honest. If I can't move, then mom can't let me go to bed. <laughs> kids don't mind, do they? The water my feet, huh? Hey, it's delicious. Great. <laughs> it's the sacred tree's curse. Why did they try to cut down Tret? If I meditate hard, I'll turn back into a man. Wow. Very typical uh, Japanese sound effects right there. <laughs> How am I supposed to charge people for the rooms if I'm a tree? Who calls all this? Someone has to have tried to cut down Tret. Oh my god, as everyone knows, the village is right. I should never try to cut that tree down. No, I'll never see my family know again. So all these people turning into trees is because of this one single guy right here. Um, in jar top of in. Okay, here we go. I thought there was something somewhere here. It's got a lucky medal. Very helpful. These are actually some of the most useful extra items to collect in the game. Um, have yet very zero use yet, but they will much later. If only I had left town a day earlier, but this room was so comfy. <laughs> one day, my friend. One day. Alright, if we leave the in here. To the item shop. Is there someone here? There's not. Not a whole lot of people to talk to, so don't worry. No, I don't want to be stuck in a tree forever. Like, it must suck for people inside, because are there roots actually going through the floor and connecting to the grounds? If not, then they're probably not going to last very long. Especially because they're inside too, so they're not getting a whole lot of light. Soon, all of Kalim will be nothing but forest. What will happen to my treasure when I'm stuck in a tree forever? Treasure. I don't know if all the secret is. Uh, there's there's a book entitled Dictionary of Trees and Flowers. The book describes every species of tree and flower in Angara. Interesting how the people who live inside dead trees have now become trees themselves. So I'm assuming the treasure has to be the Jin, right? The Jinny. That's the only thing I can ever find. There's nothing like hidden in his house or anything. Man, I'm stuck inside. That means I can't even become a tall tree. <laughs> I used to carve weapons out of wood. Now I am wood. It's funny like that, yep. Funny how ironic all this is, isn't it? Isn't that ironic? Weapon shop, barrel top floor. Okay, so not, not that jar there. I jumped on a mighty warrior with a thick beard and did this curse. I hear about him a lot, actually. That sounds like it could be a girl, isn't it? Damsel in distress. Distress. There's a book entitled The Holy Tree of Kalima Forest. Trent and Laurel are the spirits of the holy trees protecting Kalima Forest. Interesting. I like learning about this stuff. Why are they staring at? They seem awfully young. They don't stand a chance against the chat. So, what this tree tells us is these guys could actually see. Which is really weird. They could see, they could like taste the water, but they can't seem to, uh... They can't seem to talk. At least my father wasn't the one who tried to cut down the holy tree. So, because if we try to talk to them, it, oh, can we, can we not? Oh, wow, we can't. Wow, no way. It doesn't tell us, it doesn't like we don't get any interaction when we try to talk to them like we did in Billabin. Uh, the Holy Tree of Kalima has great power, just like my father said. Maybe we turn into trees because of all the trees we've cut down. We're only doing our jobs, though. Yeah, that's gotta suck. Wait, what? It's the barrel? Ah, there we go. 
Seven coins. Uh, the book entitled The Art of Logging. One must study trees and train one's body well before logging. Great. <laughs> so that's the entire village for now. Well, besides the shin here. If you're wondering how the hell you got that, I can't jump over the fence or anything. There's no like secret passage in here. However, there is a secret passage. When I was younger, I thought maybe there was a solution that we had to like go outside and find a path. By the way, I just realized we fought a rat earlier and I did not give the stats of the rat, did I? Oh, I never checked this stuff actually. I definitely 100% did not check. Oh god, give me a second here. Okay, thankfully we can't like, well, I only see this one barrel. Just want to make sure I'm not going to miss anything here. Okay, good. Okay, so if you come down here, it's really weird because technically we just saw the village. However, if you run around enough, we'll run into battles. Oh, perfect. Oh my god, this can't be any more perfect. So, in addition to the other stuff we've seen, these are the two enemies, two new enemies we could face Rat Soldier and Rats. Uh, so, Isaac can actually use. I mean, so sure. We actually have not. Wow, we actually haven't seen. Uh, Mars yet, have we? We can also use Jupiter now. Let's see what that looks like. Jupiter! Great. That's great. Also, whenever you use a summon, you'll see Ivan's wind power raises by 10. I haven't shown that yet, which I really should, so any of his wind synergy will now have 10% more damage. Or 10 more damage. 10 base damage. Uh, Isaac's wind power is increased by 10. Of course, he runs. So! Um, the rats, they're level 6, they have 49 HP, they drop 17 gold and 14 experience, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping an herb. Uh, uh, they, they have the ability to use Fortify, which, is increases, which increases their defense, but of course he's not going to use it now. I saw the rat soldiers, which is tail back there, you see it just swing to and fro. I always thought it was, uh... Ooh, Garrett's actually going to attack last. Agility sucks. I always thought that was like a ponytail for some reason. I don't know why. I'm actually gonna defend with Ivan just because I don't want these guys to die before he gets to show off Mars. Interesting, interesting. And that uh, should. Oh. Just... Oh, they think of Garrett Mars power because everything died. Okay. I didn't go over the uh, rat soldier yet, so we'll do that now. He's level 6, have 600 HP. Uh, they have nine, they drop 19 gold and 17 experience points, and they have a oh they have a 6.25% chance of dropping smoke bombs, or yeah when you kill them, and they also have the ability to flee, and that that's it. So that's how we get this Jin. Yay! Uh, and this is granite. The Venus is Jin granite joined Isaac. As you can see, we don't have two things here. This creates a mighty earthen barrier. Actually, I don't think I read these. Boost parties attack with flames fury and attack with mighty wind gusts. I definitely didn't win that, read that one. I might have read Forge. So now I have two Venus Jin. So I'll have to check that out. So, uh, where is it? Uh, Granite has uh, gives it a base 9 HP, a base uh, plus 2 defense, plus 2 agility, and plus 1 luck when uh, set on anybody. So there we go. Um, Granite also has the ability for first strike, which I can actually show off right here. So when I use it, it'll negate. Well, here we'll we'll, we'll give it a second. Here. Protective of aura encircles Isaac, Garrett, and Ivan. So what that means is for the entire turn, 50% of damage. Uh, you get 50% less damage, I should say. There we go. And it feels flint here. We won't bother using Forge and we'll use Gust and hopefully we'll Oh no, did I crap, I might have actually both attacked both of them there. Oh, it doesn't matter because he wasn't gonna die anyways. Alright, well, in that case we can actually show off something new we could do. Ramses, a level two Venus Jin Um summon. As you can see there, you'll see the blinking thing right above Ramses there on the right. Where it says flashing two on the Venus Jin. That's how many it requires to use, and you can also see it on the right just of Ramses there. And the Jupiter and Venus, except Ramses takes two. Uh, Guardian of an Immortal Pharaoh. Let's try that out, and if this doesn't kill it, I will die. N not not because this will kill me, but because I just would be very shocked if it didn't kill this guy. Yay! Exploding Fist! So, oh, a bit of a weird attack, to be honest. Hey! As a level 6, uh, Squire, Master of the Squire Spire. <laughs> Squire Spire, Squire Spire, Squire. 
Max HP goes up by 8, maximum PP by 3, attack by 3, defense by 1, agility by 4. I have it now level 6, jeez, level 6 wins here. Uh, maximum HP by 7, PP 3, attack by 3, defense by 1, agility by 4, 34 coin. Jeez, I'm actually kind of surprised that Garrett also didn't level up there. I'm gonna take that out. So there you go, that's the uh, second, um, second level summon. And as we'll go through the game, you'll see that uh, you'll get more and more powerful summons as you gain more ability. There's nothing from these guys, good. There is a 100% chance to successfully flee from a battle. So, yeah, I was gonna use my, uh, my sacred feather I got from the item shop in Billabin, but it'd be kind of pointless to use now. In fact, maybe I'll quickly use that outside on the world map here. We can use it in here. You know what? I think we get a better effect if we use it in here, so let's do that. Reduces monster encounters. So if you use it, get its cool little animation. Hallelujah, monsters won't attack so often now. If you run outside, we'll get less uh, attacked. As I say, that noise is recovering Jin, but we already need that, so never mind. Uh, we still do get attacked, though, just not as often. I almost want to go and buy a new weapon. There we go, Merc, we can see its unleash effect, which is great. So, next time, start to explore Clean the Forest. Also, that cutscene we saw earlier with the barriers. That is a cutscene that will be a little bit different if you decide to go north first. Um, since I decide to go east, I will once we once I don't I can't show what dialogue the dialogue lines would be different just because of spoiler reasons. But once we do figure out the reason why, <laughs> once we get past this part that would be spoiled if I showed it, I'll show that. Um, and and yeah, also if we had to come into Kalima Forest first, we'd have gotten the exact same cutscene we got when we went into Kalima, except it would just take place right here. Where everyone would be on the ground over here instead of at Kalima, uh, in Kalima Village. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, God dang it, we will start to explore Kalima Forest. But before we do that, here's a drone beat. So in Kalima Forest, you'll find skeletons, willheads, rats, rat soldiers are the things we've all seen before, and then there's these drone bees that are level 7, they drop 28 golds, I didn't use Isaac's new attack, hopefully it doesn't kill him, don't, oh of course he died, I don't want him to die yet, I want to use Spire because I might forget about it next time I record, this is the end of this recording session, they drop 28 gold, they have ni they dropped 19 experience. Did I say they have 63 experience points? Well, they have 63 experience points. And they also have a 6.25% chance of dropping an elixir. And they also have an ability called Numbing Sting, which has a chance to paralyze you, which is really nasty. Um, so, yes. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll talk to you next time when we start to explore Kalima Forest. Bye, everyone.